YouTube, Shikwin Shinobi here with a review of the Kamen Rider O's DX Meta Jalibur. Uh, this thing, I don't really like it because uh, Tatoba has his claws and all of the like body weapons have their own weapons to use. So I think the inclusion of a sword was kind of stupid. But it is a pretty cool toy and I do like the design, is, even if I think it's kind of pointless. But it is really cool. So, uh, here's the, the box, DX Meta Jalibur, um, following the blue color scheme everything seemed to have at the beginning. Uh, sword, comes with three cells, Tatoba over here. Uh, the back, showing you what it does, Tatoba here, Tatoba here, Tatoba is the only thing we knew at the beginning. So, uh, comes with the Kuwagata cell, the Kamakiri cell, and the Tora cell. Tora cell already came with the Deluxe Toadride Vendor. So, uh, if you got one of those, you already have Taurus Cell, but the other two are new. At least for this. They were in a candy toy set, I believe. So, um, I have that now. So, here is... Things are falling. The Meta Jalibur. It is not that big. It kind of looks more like a, like a thick meat cleaver. But, um, it does fit comfortably in the hand. Uh, and it doesn't look that bad. I mean, it looks bad compared to, like, the prop on the show. But it doesn't look too bad altogether, uh, just kind of like sitting here on display. Kind of like suffers from prison bicker syndrome, or sword vector syndrome. Where it's a sword, it had to get squished down to fit in uh, toy parameters. So it kind of suffers from that. But it is still a cool toy, so let's go over that. Uh, it comes with the cells that I mentioned already. The Kuwagata cell, the Tora cell, and the Kamakiri cell. So let's go through those sounds. And yay! So like, not that that was a surprise at all. It was kind of typical. Um, so this can house up to three metals and do a single, double, and triple scanning charge. So we will go over all of that. The on switch is right here. So switch that on. You get a little turn on noise. Turn on noise. Weird. A on noise uh, and then just press the trigger the only light is right here that that's the only light in this thing uh, and you'll get generic noise so uh, we'll go ahead and put in one metal now press the lever to lock it in and it will slide down into the chamber if you do it right there we go and so now we have a new sound So you get a slightly more intense uh, slash or something along the lines of that. And for the single scanning charge, basically what you do is very difficult to show from this perspective. But uh, you take that and you there's a button right here. You can press the button with your finger or run it over with the, uh, the scanner. We'll just run it over with the scanner. Shingle. So no sounds coming from here besides the shingle scanning charge. Shingles, huh? And then the button press activated the final attack for the device. So you press the trigger. And so you get the, the special attack. Uh, and then it resets to the noise. So you're back to having no metals in it even though there is one in there. So... Now, hi, text message. Put in two metals. So you get the doot doot noise, and then again. And then. So you get another sort of attack that's stronger than the last one. And now this one is a double scanning charge. It's funny because the double for double scanning charge is the same double that it uses when you scan a double metal. So it actually is double scanning charge. So anyway. Same noise. So it doesn't matter whether you single scanning charge, double scanning charge, or triple scanning charge. It's all the same noise. And then again, you're back to generic slash. So 
Lastly, uh, these don't fall out, by the way. There's a little mechanism in here, so they get caught and don't fall straight out, which is cool. So, Alaska, let's put in three. Pull it down. So now it's all awesome and... So now it's a super cool, awesome attack and stuff like that. Uh, so now for the triple scanning charge. And then last. Again, all the same noise. So uh, it adds a little bit of functionality to the scanner by unlocking the shingle, daburu, and toriparu scanning the charges. Uh, so the, the single, the double, the triple, it's all nice. I like it. Uh, it does, like I said, it feels nice in the hand. It does come across as more of a little, like, short sword meat cleaver than an actual, like, jaliber or caliber or excalibur. I think I mean, they were going for a caliber, I think. I don't know. Uh, but... Overall, I mean, it's nice. It comes with some more cell metals. You can't get enough of those. Uh, this is a soft rubber, so, I mean, it still kind of hurts, but it doesn't, won't break, or might get bent out of shape a little bit if you leave it in a really weird, moist place, like the bathroom. I don't know why you would leave it in the bathroom, but... Um, overall, I like it. I got it for 50% off from HLJ's sale that they were having. Uh, at the time this goes up, they probably won't be having it anymore, but I mentioned it in my vlog, so. Um, I can recommend this easily for 50% off. I like it for 50% off. I wouldn't have paid full price for it at release, just because it doesn't really add too much functionality. Um, there's only two cell metals that were new uh, at the time, because this one was eventually released with the Torah Android. But um, it's just, it's not as necessary of a weapon, I feel, as something as cool as the Taja Spinner or the Metagaburu. So, uh, jumping at this late in the game, I like it. I probably wouldn't have liked it as much at the very beginning, just because, it, it, like I said, it doesn't really add much. But it does look cool, definitely uh, awesome for my rider shelf going on back there. So, um, I can easily recommend it for about 50% off or more. If you keep on holding off... You might be able to find these for 80% off like I found the Tensor. So um, anything basically cheaper than 50% off, I do recommend getting this. I do kind of like it. As much as I re um, make fun of the sword all the time, I do like it. So you can check out a bit review at RiseRangersRambles.com, bringing the latest token news and crazy sword possible. And you can check out the Ram boards and discuss O's and all of its merchandise at RiseRangersRambles.com slash forums. So take care and have a great one. Bye.